Hey friends, I'm here again, ready for my next live design challenge. My name is Sarah Ayler and I'm the sales and marketing manager for Softlex Company. And today we are gonna be doing a Softlex live design challenge with a fantastic bead store in Canada called Kelly's Bead Boutique. You may have seen Kelly. She does live videos too. Um, I believe she does them an hour before I do. Let's see. 12.30 p.m. every Wednesday, 12.30 uh, p.m. Pacific time. And Kelly is the owner of a beautiful little bead store up in British Columbia, Canada. It's actually in a, a town called Pitt Meadows, if you're familiar with it. But you can also find her online at www kellysbeadboutique.com and so today's box is straight from Kelly's in Canada and I am going to open it up here live with you. We're going to look at what she sent me inside. I don't know what's in it as usual and then we're going to make something together using whatever it is that she sent me and we'll learn a little bit more about her fantastic business. Hi Kelly, thanks for joining us. Hey Jenny, hey Karen. Glad to see all my friends here. Um, so I've really been looking forward to this. I saw Kelly do one of her videos a few months ago and I actually uh, posted it here on our Facebook page because it had Softlex in it. She carries our product there in her store. Um, and she's just a hoot. She is full of energy, lots of fun, and I encourage you to go over to the Kelly's Bead Boutique Facebook page and maybe Kelly can actually put a link up here to make it easy for you to find it. It's also in the title of this video. I linked to it, you can click there. Um, go like her page and start following some of her videos as well because I think you're gonna really enjoy um, getting to know her. She seems like she's a lot of fun. Okay, so um, I'm gonna flip you guys down and we're just gonna open the box and get going because I know everybody likes to just move along with it, right? Oh, there's Kelly's Bead Boutique. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah, she's she was putting on all sorts of avatar faces, things that I would never know how to do. Um, <laughs> and definitely has a good sense of humor. Okay, so here is my package. I'm going to actually add Kelly's um, website up here at the top. So if you should want to buy any of the products that I opened today in the box, you should be able to find them on her website. And I'm sure she ships into the US as well as all over Canada. Um, okay. Ooh, and one thing before I get going, I didn't bring, yeah, I'll talk about that next time, I guess. I We have a brand new kit that I wanted to show you guys, but I didn't bring one of the bags in here to show you. And uh, maybe Kristen, you're on here, maybe you can get a hold of James or Rosa to go get me one of those kits, the Simply Sonoma kits. Okay, so meanwhile, I'm just going to keep moving along. And we'll see about talking about that later, or maybe I'll pop on for a second video later to do that. Okay, so Kelly says, Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much for featuring some goodies from my bead store. We love check beads, and we hope that you and your viewers do too. We've added some lovely gold elements, and of course, we used our favorite color combinations of blues and browns. Ooh, you're after my own heart, Kelly. I love blues. We would like to offer a discount code to the viewers. Okay, guys, get your pens and pencils out. 20% off at www.kellysbeadboutique.com. And the discount code is SOFTFLEX. It expires April 15th, 2018. So I'm going to fold this up so I can remind you guys of that every once in a while. She does sell Softlex, so if you need Softlex, it's a good opportunity to get a 20% off discount. Um, and then you can get all the other fun stuff that I'm going to be opening up in the box uh, right now. Okay. Oh, thanks, Kristen. Yeah, I don't. it just totally slipped my mind when I was preparing. Maybe I'll show it at the end. 
Okay, so Kelly's Bead Boutique, they offer a ton of classes. From what I hear, that's something she feels like they really specialize in. Um, let's see what she said. They're best known as a teaching store, so they work very closely with customers to help them create fantastic jewelry. If you live in the Pitt Meadows, BC area, here is the address for the store. They do offer classes and they have a brick and mortar store that you can actually physically go into um, and see. Perfect. No, it's okay. Thanks, James. So I'm going to talk about this, this kit at the end, the Simply Sonoma kit, and hopefully I won't forget, but James did bring me some, so we'll look at that at the very end. Okay, so we've got um, some beautiful blue, oh, what are these? Cosmic Twinkle is the name of the color. These are so pretty. They're like a baby blue, but sort of on steroids. It has almost like a, a pretty um, a silver, kind of a shimmer to it. They're really, really pretty. Oh, Deb Reynolds says that Kelly is famous for her barrel knots. Hmm, that sounds like an inside joke. <laughs> um, and a little bit more about Kelly, too. She originally had a really successful jewelry line in about 80 stores across Canada. So she opened her bead store in 2009 and has been there ever since. So she's actually a jewelry designer at heart. Um, so I assume her store is probably full of really cool stuff because she understands design. These are fantastic. You can't tell this in the video, but they have this translucent purple color. Maybe if I... I don't know if I can even catch it. It's like a beautiful translucent purple color and then it has sort of a gold shimmer on top. These are really cool. Let's see what the color, it's suede gold amethyst. These are really, really cool, you guys. I wonder if you can see it down here. No, I just can't quite catch that purple glow. They're really, really, really pretty. We have some beautiful Czech glass beads. Ooh, these have sort of a copper finish to them. No color code on them, but look at how sparkly those are. They're a beautiful brown, and then they have sort of a coppery, shiny tone on the top. Really, really pretty. They're gonna look so, I'm, this is gonna be a fantastic kit to work with. I can already tell. Kelly, you have a good eye for colors. Um, so it's going to make my job super, super easy. Okay, so we got a little bag with a bunch of little goodies. And again, all of this is coming from kellysbeadboutique.com. And she offered a really fantastic coupon code, softflex, good till April 15th for 20% off. And you can get your softflex there too, even better. She sent some Miyuki seed beads, size eight in gold. Nice, ooh, look at this beauty. Ooh, I like that. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. I would really like to try um, putting some soft flex across with some seed beads and see what it looks like. You know how they kind of do that with craft wire sometimes? I wonder what it would be like uh, to do like a few rows of soft flex across this. Hmm, maybe we should try it, right? Yes. Ooh, a little brown tassel. Can never go wrong with tassels. This would look really pretty on top of this pendant. If I can figure out how to open the bag. <laughs> Sometimes the most simple tasks, right? This would look really pretty just like on top of this. Do you have the tassels in a bunch of different colors, Kelly? Everyone loves tassels. Hey, Patricia, nice to see you. Everyone seems to be doing pretty good. 
We got a nice little gold lobster claw clasp. I'm sure most of you have seen these, but just in case you haven't, you just take your little gear back here to open it up. We've got some great little uh, jump rings to attach the clasp. Ooh, some chain. Always love some chain. We saw a very limited supply of chain, so I'm always excited to see chain. I already see my project is coming together so easily right here, isn't it? And then we've got some beautiful little uh, gold beads too. They're like little saucer beads. So lots of different colors of tassels. And Kelly, feel free to link to any of the products that you sent to me that I'm showing today so that people can easily find them and use that discount coupon that you so generously offered. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out of my way. I think that was everything in the box, right? Perfect. Okay, so we've got some really lovely colors to work with today. Um, I really wanna try, I'm gonna grab my turquoise soft wax. Um, I really wanna try putting some beads across this just cause I haven't tested that before and maybe it will work, maybe it won't, who knows, but I'd like to try it. Let me grab my turquoise. Soft wax. And I'm also going to grab, oh, I have so little of that. I grabbed turquoise. I was going to grab some gold, but you guys, look at how much of my gold I've used. What? I need more gold. So I'm gonna have to go shopping in the gallery if I wanna use gold. I also think the champagne could look really pretty with this color mixture. I always really love the champagne. And it would be kind of a nice medium between the gold and the brown and the blue. So we'll keep that out. But first things first, we're just gonna test out what happens in the center of this. I'm thinking the soft flex, if I attach here and I put the beads between, it should stay put, but let's see. You know how this works. I never know, I never know what's gonna happen when I try something brand new. Okay, so I am going to trim a generous piece of soft wax. I'm using our green turquoise color, which is my favorite color. Look at how beautiful it is. It is such a pretty blue. I love to use it. And it matches this blue in the pendant so nicely. Okay, so I'm going to um, go ahead and crimp, and then we'll try a variety of beads in the center just to see what it's like. And see if it works. Man, I must have been doing a lot with gold because look at my gold crimps are almost gone too. I've got to get, get it together in the gallery and put an order together here to restock. I have noticed I lately have been using gold a lot more than I used to. I used to use it very sparingly. Okay, so I'm just taking my wire into my crimp around the base of the pendant and back into the crimp again. I'm gonna pull it as close as I can, um, but leave a little bit of space because I actually need to slide in there with my crimper. I'm gonna to try to get my wires so they're as side by side as I can inside the crimp tube so I get a nice straight connection. Um, and I'm gonna use the magical crimpers today. So I'm just gonna slide those in. And you know with the magical crimpers, I wanna get me straight now. It might be a little hard for you to see crimping this particular one because of where See if I can get in this direction where it's located. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and compress. The first time I compress, it should look like a little square, sort of like a little ravioli. 
Then I'm gonna turn it on its side. I always choose the most awkward things to try on a live show, don't I? I think I can pull this out here, even though it's not gonna stay out here now that I have the right size. And I can do this second. And I'm just gonna go around and around it a bunch of times, tightening it down because I want to get a nice little round ball out of that crimp tube. And I also want to really cinch down the nylon, the metal into the nylon coating of the wire so it's not going to slip or slide around. It'll be nice and strong. I'm going to take my cutters. I use Softlex cutters because they're the best. They get in really close, even at the very tip of the cutter, you can get like a really fine detailed cut, which is nice when you're using the magical crimpers. I'm gonna go ahead and um, decide what beads I'm gonna use. And I'm hoping this isn't gonna slip around once I have the beads in there, that it'll give it enough oomph that it'll stay in place, but who knows? Who knows, who knows? Okay, so I was thinking about some of these little beads for sure. So I'm gonna dump some of those into my handy dandy bead collector known as the back of the Softlex spool. And I think one of these turquoise ones would definitely make sense. So let's cut some of those open. Give myself a little more room over here on this side. Some of those open over here in another bead collector. Don't need a lot yet, so I'm just going to take a few out. Oh, Kelly says she loves the Softlex cutters. Hers are 14 years old and cut like the day she bought them. Wow. Yeah, they just last a really long time. They are made in the US um, and they're made to our specifications and they just give you such a nice, good, decent cut. They're expensive, but they're worth it because you don't have to replace them every few months like you will with a $7.95 pair. So the price up front can be a little daunting, but if you're doing a lot of cutting, I think it's well worth it. Well worth it. Okay, so we've got those and those. I'm wondering if I'm gonna want one of these two. Let's just cut them open just in case and we'll take a few out. <clears throat> Let's just get ourselves all set up to do some beading. Okay. Ooh, and I wanted to tell you guys, if you do any metal stamping, Kelly is doing a huge clearance sale right now on her stamping materials. Her stamps, blanks, and patina paints are all 30% off. Um, so now is a really good time to take a look at that too, if you're gonna look at um, other stuff on her website. Okay, so I've got my wire attached to the side. We're gonna see what this is like. I'm gonna string my seed bead first. I don't know what order of beads is gonna fit nicely, so I'm just gonna play around with it to see if I can get something I really like. I think that's already towards the middle. Maybe the brown one needs to be in the center. So we're going to do that. If you can't see what I'm doing at the bottom of the screen, you can always slide your comments if you're on a telephone to the left or the right and they should disappear and you should be able to see a little bit better. The tricky part in looking at this now is going to be the crimping on the other side is actually what's going to be really, really tricky because I'm going to have to get in close. So, I don't know that I can stick with this big bead here. So we're gonna try something else. That's how we do it, right? 
Um, we're gonna do a few more smaller beads on the sides, maybe even just this, um, this gold bead here. Let's see what that's like. And work our way to a, do we still wanna do the brown one in the center? Or should I do the blue one? That's the question. Hey Tammy, how are you? I'm just beading away here. Oh, I like the blue one better. I want to leave enough room on the sides that I can slide in with my crimping plier and actually be able to finish this if I decide I like it. Um, the crimping plier is going to require a little bit of space. So this is where we're kind of at. Um, and it's still not quite enough. Are you guys liking how this looks? What do you think of adding beads to the center like this? Kelly says, you're brave to do these mystery reveals. Well, the way I look at it, Kelly, is it's a journey. Um, <laughs> sometimes things turn out, sometimes they don't, but it's kind of fun to just enjoy the journey uh, with all of you and test things out, see what they're like. Um, and I can always fail in front of everybody, but I always learn something. So that's what matters the most. Um, so I gotta get I, I gotta get something else in here. Maybe the blue, the another gold little gold seed bead on either side or something. So it's not quite the right thing yet. Hmm. Or maybe one of these. Maybe. I just like to have fun. I try to focus on the fun of it. And who doesn't want to get a box of mystery beads for crying out loud in the mail twice a month? I mean, if that's what it requires of me is a little bravery to get a cool box of beads every month, I'm, I'm in. <laughs> I'm totally in. So I added a little bit on the side there. I'm gonna see how this pans out. It looks like it's gonna dip down a little bit once I crimp it, which I don't dislike. Um, so let's just see what it's like. We never know. And then I still like the tassel kind of hanging somewhere as well. Yeah, the tassel could be kind of interesting. Is that what you're meaning, Jenny? Adding the tassel to the center here? Could be kind of interesting too, couldn't it? Hmm, or we can always add it to the bottom down here as well, because we've got some jump rings, which I would probably really like that as well. Okay, so let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Let's try crimping. I love these colors. I feel like you could do anything in these colors and it would look great. It doesn't matter what you end up doing, <laughs> right? So for those of you who've just joined us, these are all items from Kelly's Bead Boutique and Kelly's Bead Boutique is up in Canada, but you can actually find them online no matter where you live at kellysbeadboutique.com and she is offering a fantastic coupon, 20% off her online store using coupon code SOFTFLEX until April 15th. So that's a really great opportunity to pick up some materials like this cool pendant, I would assume, is probably for sale there. And then she has a lot of wide variety of items since she's a bead store. Okay, so if I crimp it, it's going to have a little bit of a dip, but I don't, I don't think I mind that that much. I mean, I feel okay about it. What do you guys think? Kelly says, my store is full of samples with those colors. Oh, I bet, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and crimp it. See if we can slide. This is what I was started to worry about when I was looking at it closer, is being able to slide your crimping pliers inside these small, places can be so annoying sometimes and I want to make sure this is my loop stays big enough that this can slide down to the same spot as the other 
So basically I want my loop on this new side to match my loop on the second side. And did this piece, does this piece come patinaed or did you patina it, Kelly, is my other question. This turquoise patina that's on here. Okay, I got it. I'm sliding in, I got in, guys. I'm gonna compress so that I get what looks like sort of like a little ravioli. And then I'm going to this is just like another way, you can do this with craft wire too, it's probably a little easier with craft wire to bedangle a pendant. Um, but I've been curious for a while, I saw Neele do one with craft wire, some earrings I think the other day. And I was thinking about, oh, I wonder what it would be like if you crimped you know, some soft flex with some beads across a pendant just so that you could make it just that much more fancy. Um, so I really like, really liked that idea. I'm gonna try attaching this at the bottom. I'm not sure if these um, are gonna be big enough, but let's see if they work to attach the tassel at the bottom. When I open a jump ring, a lot of times I end up just using the tip of my magical crimpers as one side and I just hold on to it. And then I'll grab a chain nose plier and just open like that. You can get see that. And let's see if Oh, so it does come in this color. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. It's not quite big enough, but you know what? We could use soft flex to attach it so we don't have to worry. Now I just have to figure out how to get this off. We use that for the clasp at the back end. Why don't we just do a beaded connector down here and we can connect the tassel on. In fact, it'll probably bring this all together a little bit better. Um, so I'm just going to take another piece of soft flex. And I will um, get a crimp tube. I'm using our two by two soft flex crimp tubes. They're very, very thick and strong. They come in gold filled, sterling silver, silver filled and copper. Um, it's something we personally work very hard to maintain. Uh, they're a very important part of our company because it's what holds everything together even though they're so tiny. You know, it's a really mighty part of what we do. So I'm going to um, take my crimp tube. The other big thing about soft flex crimps is that they're seamless. It's a solid tube, so you get a lot of good strength. I'm going to attach the same way I did up here, but to the bottom with my soft flex and pull this up, but this time my crimp is gonna be on the outside. You wanna make sure that this loop is big enough that it has the ability to sort of move around, otherwise it's gonna get stuck and it's not gonna feel really natural. So you wanna leave enough space that it can really move over that tip pretty easily, like so. And then we will go ahead and compress. We've got our little ravioli. Turn it on its side and compress again. And I'll go around it a bunch of times, tightening it down. These are so nice for making a design where you can really see the crimp and it just becomes part of the design. There we go. And then we can string a bead. I think I'll do a little, um, little gold seed bead. Make sure that's gonna pull right. A little gold seed bead and a little guy. Maybe one of these little guys. Another gold seed bead, and then we'll connect down here to our tassel. Okay, 
Okay, so Kelly says, I sell to the U.S. pretty much daily for the most part. Drive them down over the border as I'm only about 30 minutes away. And I do my own exporting so you don't have to pay any duties. Wow, that's nice. That's really nice to know. Handy. So I think the most important thing I want you guys to walk away from uh, knowing about Kelly's Bead Boutique is that they're just a super fun and innovative store. Um, and they do sell wholesale. They have a fantastic website. And I think just by watching some of Kelly's videos, you will just kind of see exactly what I mean about how fun and creative they are. So I have attached down here. Now I'm just gonna crimp. Um, and just in case you didn't catch it earlier, Kelly does Facebook Live videos. She's on just a little bit earlier than I am on Wednesdays at 12.30 p.m. Pacific time on Facebook as well. And so I encourage you to go over to her Facebook page. I'm sure she has a video library where you can watch a lot of the past videos that she's done. And sometimes they even sell kits to go along with the project that they've taught that day so there's an opportunity to buy all the parts and pieces that you need to recreate uh, whatever it is that Kelly's shown. Okay so I'm attached down here. I'm going to get my soft flex cutters and get up nice and close and trim that wire. And there we go. We've got our bottom piece. I think I'm gonna hook this onto the chain and then just do a real easy soft flex wrap around the back. Um, and I'll make this a long necklace for sure. I don't even think I need this much chain. I'd probably do more like this much. Maybe we can use some of the chain to make some earrings, some cute earrings to go with it. This is definitely something that I think I would wear. I imagine I would wear this for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut free some of the chain so we can experiment with that. And I will go ahead and finish this after on the after um, after the show and get a picture of it for you guys so you can see the final. Uh, project here and in the meantime I think we should cut open this chain and do some fun little cute drop earrings that I can wear with this new necklace that I just made so I'm just doing a quick measurement to see where to cut this is definitely an example of probably what you shouldn't do with your soft flex cutter <laughs> Do as I say, not as I do. It's one of those situations. You usually want to save your soft flex cutters for soft flex. That way, if you're cutting something really hard, you don't end up denting them because they are a costly pair of cutters. Um, you know, I'm very fortunate in that I can get a new pair pretty easily. Um, but if you have a pair of soft flex cutters, make sure you take good care of them and just use them for soft flex for sure. Maybe some craft wire. I do use it on craft wire because it coppers a lot softer, um, but you can hear that clicking when I'm cutting this, which is probably not, not really good um, on those poor things. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a quick dangle earring. Um, I was thinking about something similar maybe to what I've done here that's gonna match really nicely. Um, we could even bring in some of the brown bead so we get the tassel, that tassel color in too. Um, that might get a little busy, but let's see what we can do here. I'm thinking this could be really cute, the blue and the gold and then the, um, the brown at the bottom. So it's sort of mimicking what's going on here with the brown tassel. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and get going here. Again, I'm gonna use the green turquoise soft flex and I'm almost always using medium in projects. It's the most commonly used diameter of soft flex. Uh, 0.019 inch is the all purpose for glass, mineral and metal and it comes in the most fantastic array of colors. 
Um, so when you see me using a really pretty gemstone color, it's almost always medium soft flex. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a crimp tube. I don't know if this is the right length of an earring. It's pretty long, but I can always shorten the chain after I've made my bottom here. So I just took my wire, I went into the chain, and I'm going back. Hi guys, looks like I got bumped off. Uh, not a huge surprise, because I did see some people were having some issues with connectivity, which is always a difficulty in live videos. Um, but I'm gonna wait for some people to hop back on, and then we can finish the earring that we were working on. Um, and maybe actually this might be a good opportunity if I see some people jumping on for me to show you the kit. Hey guys. So um, obviously I got bumped off, sorry about that. Um, in the meantime, while people are jumping back on, I might as well show you the new Simply Sonoma kit um, that just went live today. And then we'll go back into the project that we were working on <laughs> before the video dropped. So um, my new coworker, James, helped me put together this kit. He actually designed all of it based on Sonoma. He lives here in Sonoma. Um, so it's a beautiful kit of greens and purples. It has a lot of spring colors in it. It's very similar to our treasure trove kits from last year. Um, and you can purchase one starting today at www.softlexcompany.com. Or you can definitely just comment here that you're interested. And I'll have James get in touch with you. Um, just say sold kit in the comments and I'll get in touch with you so that you can purchase one. This is super limited in quantity. There's a special set of beads in here where we only had so many and James actually bought one of his own kits because he was so excited about it. So we have only 22 of these available to start and that's about half what we had last time. So if you want one, you're gonna have to jump on it very quickly um, to, to make sure you get one. I'll be doing a live design challenge with the kit on April 25th. Um, so hopefully we have most of you back here. If you're interested in the kit, just comment um, sold kit and or interested like Marianne just did and I'll get in touch with you after the live show or James will and we'll get you a kit as soon as possible because um, they're going to go pretty fast I have a feeling. They're really beautiful. They have even more product than our last treasure trove kit so um, a lot more variety of items. So pretty excited about that. So enough of you are back. I'll hop back to the project we were working on. And if you want to learn more, um, if you want to learn more about the uh, new Simply Sonoma kits, you can always go to our website, www.softlexcompany.com. Um, for the products I'm using today, though, that are down here, we're doing stuff from www.kellysbeadboutique.com. And um, so most of what you're seeing here, you're gonna be able to buy directly from Kelly on her website. And even though she's in Canada, she said that there will be no duty fees because she actually drives her packages to the US across the border because she lives so close. Um, so she is doing a really fantastic coupon using Code soft flex until April 15th, you can get 20% off at kellysbeadboutique.com. So make sure you take advantage of that. So where we left off before I lost connectivity was I had just attached to my chain and now I was gonna do a little play with um, this these beads down here to see. I did a gold seed bead. I'm doing a turquoise bead. I'm gonna do one of these gold saucer beads. And then I was thinking this brown bead might be really pretty um, on the bottom to sort of mirror image what's going on here in the necklace if you were to wear them together. I think that could be kind of cool. I don't think the whole, one thing you always have to think about when you're gonna use a magical crimper at the bottom of a bead is 
is that crimp going to slide inside of the bead because the hole's too big? And I don't think in this case it will. Um, so I'm going to take my crimp tube, two by two millimeter crimp tube again, and I'm going to click it over. Thanks, Mary Ellen. Thanks for buying a kit. I'll definitely get a hold of all of you guys after the live show so we can get those out to you first. And if you want to purchase one, you can always just go right to our website and do it there as well. Um, or you can just comment and we'll get it taken care of. Okay, so what I didn't just talk about that I need to is I actually took my wire, even though I'm going to trim it off the bottom, and I tucked it back into my crimp tube so that I have a little bit more wire to grab onto. And then I'm going to pull my crimp tube up to my bead. Sometimes I'll let my wire slide inside my bead. And I do that, my double wire, I do that just so I can get a nice straight connection on my crimp tube. Um, you have to get this crimp tube a little bit away from the bead but you wanna get as close in as you can. And one way to do that is by actually pulling on the two wires on the end here. Hey, Treva, I'm just finishing up take two. <laughs> got a little, got lost on Facebook, but we're back and up and running here. Okay. So I'm going to crimp, crimp, crimp. And like I said, this bead has a small enough hole. I don't have to worry about it sliding over the crimp, which is nice. Now this is a really important crimp. Um, not that they're not at all important, but this particular one is gonna be sort of a weight-bearing crimp. Even though these beads don't weigh a lot, you know, gravity is always gonna be pulling on them. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you've got it really sunk down deep in the nylon coating. And then I'll come in close with my cutter and trim. And then I've got a really cute, simple earring. And I can kind of play around with the length of this depending on my ear wire, um, which I can do after uh, the live show is over. This guy I'm just gonna attach up here using a jump ring. I can actually probably just do that with you guys on here. So I'll find the center of my chain, which is gonna be right about here. And I can go ahead and take my jump ring that I already opened. I'm gonna get my chain nose pliers. So I'm using the tip of my magical crimper and the tip of my chain nose plier. Want to get a nice big opening to go around this thick chain. And then I can attach my pendant. And then one really easy, lovely way to finish off a long necklace is just to use straight out soft flex. And I'm just trying to get that attachment as close as possible on my jump ring so that I know that nothing's gonna slip or slide out of there. You can see it's really nice and close. And yeah, so one of my favorite ways to finish a necklace is just really a simple soft flex connection. Let me get some more. I'm gonna use the turquoise, which will kind of mirror. Oop, and I broke that. <laughs> which can kind of mirror what's going on down here with the turquoise soft flex at the bottom. And I'll just use this up the whole back end on the chain and we'll have this beautiful um, piece that'll hang down the center um, that I beaded with some soft flex and then attached a tassel with the soft flex. So this was super fun. I love all the stuff that Kelly sent and I hope that you guys will head over to Kelly's Bead Boutique. Don't forget about the clearance sale on her stamping materials because 30% off stamping materials is pretty incredible. And I know a lot of you out there like to stamp and patina, so that's a really good opportunity. Um, and don't forget if you want to order one of these Simply Sonoma kits, just comment 
uh, kit sold or interested and James and I will take a look and, and private message you to get a kit out to you. Um, the video for this is April 25th, so it's only three weeks away, but we only have 22 kits, so I, I assume it's going to go really fast. I will post a picture of the designs that I did today after the live show so you can get a better look at them. Next week, I'll be on with Goody Beads at 1 p.m., and then two weeks from now, I'm going to uh, beadshop.com, and I will be live on their show with Kate uh, doing a project from my book, Seed Bead Revolution. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but thank you for spending some time with me today and helping me to make this really fun necklace, which I think is going to look so, so pretty. I'll definitely be wearing that. Um, the kits are $29.95. They have a variety of items in them, including soft flex, crimps, clasps, ear wires, crystals, um, specialty beads, all sorts of things. So they're chock full of a lot of different materials. Um, and oh, and they have some huge sterling silver head pins that I think are pretty awesome. Um, so lots of good stuff in there. It's sort of a mystery kit, so I'm not really, I wasn't planning to tell you everything in it. But <laughs> I'm not really good with secrets, so that's um, not my thing. Anyway, uh, you can find out more about our company at www.softlexcompany.com. I know this is going to be backwards, isn't it? You can find out more about our, our guest today and the company that sponsored our design challenge at www.kellysbeadboutique.com. Don't be lulled into not buying because she's in Canada because she does drive the packages across the border and you won't have to do any duty fees. Um, so use that coupon code SOFTFLEX to get 20% off. Kelly, thank you so much for sending me the package. And I look forward to seeing many of your future videos because I think you're a hoot. Um, and I know everyone out there that watches me will really enjoy watching you too. So I hope they all check you out. All right. Thanks, guys. Nice to see you all. Have a great day. Bye.